So far, we had greater incarnations, no doubt, and people worshipped them, was a good idea, no doubt. But with that, they didn't gain anything. They have done all kinds of rituals, everything. They did not gain anything. They have paid money here and there and worked out. But you'll be amazed that they are nowhere as far as the progress in their spiritual life is concerned. But with this happening, you'll be amazed. Today only I had some people from Colombia and they got their realization. They couldn't believe that how they are getting the cool breeze out of their fontanelle bone area, how they are getting the cool breeze on their hands. They couldn't believe it. We have to first believe that we are going to be self-realized people and we are all going to be the people who are nothing but the Spirit. Spirit is the reflection of God Almighty. It's purity within you that comes. Innocence within you. Innocence is never lost. It's only covered as if with some clouds. But it is never lost. It comes back to you and you are surprised at your innocent nature, out of your simple nature. This one is a very important understanding that you can yourself be a sage and you can change the whole world with your capacity. It's not difficult at all, as I told you, it's spontaneous. Sahaja means born with you. Born with you is the right to become a spirit. You don't have to jump, you don't have to cry, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to pay also for your self-realization. It just works spontaneously. It's a living process and you have a special blessings that you get. It. This is what is Sahaja Yoga. It is very important to understand your own value that you can become a sage you are not afraid of worldly things. You are not afraid of these possessions being taken away or any position being taken away. You live in that peaceful temperament where you are amazed how you can manage. In this way, we have a proper solution for self relaxation I bless you all with my heart and I'm sure all of you will get this Self-Realization tonight. But in any case, they said that, Mother, you allow people to ask you questions. So if you have some sensible questions, I don't mind answering them. But I don't think I should waste my time on stupid stuff. So if you have something special to ask me, you please ask. the significance of having the talk tonight right here in front of this magnificent monument. Thank you.
and said something so unique to the people and gave us the definition of democracy, which is a and because of him only, this country has developed a special sense of respecting the values, the talent so, to be that open-minded. But they are very open-minded to receive the truth. And this is the blessings of such great man that your country has become so great and the people have become so great. I mean, one has to understand that what a great personality he was, that at that time of confusion he established the principle of democracy. that symptom of the information that comes forth? Or is it merely a place along the path that is nice to see and is merely proof to the seeker himself? So in a nutshell, is there any importance to that? What do you say that in the path of seeking, if there is a voice in someone which asks them to write something or about something, there is an inner voice which, uh, have a, which they feel that they should write about something, is that a right path? Right? If some people who are seekers in the path of seeking, they have an inner voice which asks them to write something about any significance of like special writing or you cannot force. But if somebody wants to, it will be a good idea. It, you cannot force it. Everything has to come spontaneous. Thank you. my head at the feet of revered Mataji, whom I am speaking, sharing today here in this beautiful monument, after I have seen him last 30 years back in New Delhi. My simple and humble question is that I am an old person going 